Hey there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. Um, you don't have to be a Gemini. You could be a cross watcher. As long as you're here with good intention, you're welcome to stay. Again, just take what fits and leave what doesn't, okay? I missed you guys. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. So I'm going to start with an overall card from the Message of Love Oracles. And then I'm going to do a full Celtic cross spread with, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot. I just picked it up. It's got cats all over the cards. I thought that was rather appropriate. <laughs> so let's get into it. Uh, phase one, get ready because there's going to be some big news dropped and y'all are going to be the first to hear about it. Also, we're going to be back to doing a uh, sneak peek behind the scenes and all that stuff. Random messages I get throughout the day that I post for you guys. And for phase two, you guys also have access to that. Um, but we're going to be doing all reading or I'm sorry. Um, yeah, daily readings, seven days a week, all of them, including the weekend. So um, get ready for that. Anyways, release, Gemini. Interesting. I believe Aries also got that. Yes, they did. Aries got release. We've already got... Uh... I mean, but this is a collective thing, right? We're making room right now. We have been challenged, especially with this new moon in Virgo, which for my time zone has only been still 12 hours since I did the Aries reading. Um, maybe 13 now, but there's, yeah. Yeah, the time of letting go so this new can come in. Whatever you've been holding on to, I'm telling you, man, the divine, our, our ancestors are not playing with us right now. Our spirit teams they are not playing with us right now anybody that's trying to stop and block and all that business where pluto is coming saturn is whatever karma hasn't dished out she's about to she's getting ready to so your blessings you've been waiting on for all those good deeds it's coming most of the ones you forgot about right because we don't keep track of that and then all the wrongdoings and people not getting their karma for that oh it's it's here it's here. Mm -hmm. So let go what you need to let go. If the ship is going down, get on a lifeboat and get out. You are not supposed to be going down with this ship. Gemini, what's the current energy? Thank you. The Ten of Swords. Taurus just got that for the current energy. Goodness, what's happening here? I feel like you've got one fight left in you. Even though it's like, what are you fighting for? You feel like you've lost so much. Most people would have already thrown their hands up and said, fuck it. You know, forget it, man. But you still have some fight left in you. There is either some self-sabotage that may have taken place recently or... Other people have really just been um, throwing more than sticks and stones at you, really stabbing you in the back. Um, man. But look, you got this crow's looking right at you, and then you've got this cat, looks like he's defending you. Could work with Hecate or the Morrigan. We'll stack what do we have incoming is the page of pentacles ah we got something new coming in for you see what i mean i told you you got to let something go so that you can it's like you're going to be on a new path in the foundation is the ten of cups my goodness is this going to be happy that's literally the happily ever after card <laughs> recent past page of swords Crowning you three of swords. I'm so sorry. Wow, you were betrayed by those you loved most. It's only those that we let closest to us. I'm so sorry, Gemini. I think you recently found out some really crappy news. 
but I think this is why you're ready to start a whole new chapter. What's the um, lovers for near future? Oh, obstacles, um, fears, worries, concerns, the seven of cups. You might have too many options or it's not the options that you wanted, but those have been removed from the table. I feel like somebody made decisions for the both of you. Like there's, this feels like a romance that somebody really betrayed you here. Um, what's this, how the universe is viewing you? Eight of pentacles. So you're staying focused. You're staying, I just heard on your grind, <laughs> working. You could absolutely be um, like you work, you, you have some kind of spiritual work that you do that impacts the collective energetically, that impacts you. It's a part of your mission. It's a part of your path. You could be a tarot reader. You could be, um, I kind of get like, maybe you make, like you do homemade um, remedies with herbs and oils and tinctures. Maybe you make candles or something. Mm hmm. And then this is goal 10 of pentacles, which is the goal. This is the jackpot. This is what we're all fighting for. This is the goal, the end game. This is the happily ever after, right? <gasps> I thought that was the 10 of cups happily ever after. I just took a closer look at it. This is the two. This wasn't the 10. I was going to refer back to the happily ever after. Like, I can't believe you just pulled these two tens. Well, you didn't. <laughs> you pulled the two of cups. Look at that. Jessica, you goof. It's a fishy offer. Look at that. The two cats. This one's handing the other a fish. Something about a fishy offer. See, but you would be the lucky one right? Because that's a calico. It's one of the only things that U.S. and China can fucking agree on. Um, calico kittens are viewed as very lucky, very fortunate. Cats get one color from dad, one color from mom. To have three is very rare. And um, unfortunately, it's um, not a good genetic trait to have because the fertility rate is not great. With calico kittens, there's often a lot of complications, and the, the males um, are usually, they don't survive even the birth. So, um, but it's almost like somebody is making a fishy offer to you, but you're somehow lucky here. I think you created your own luck. I think you've been prepared for certain situations, not that you're manifesting them, just that you have a backup plan in case you happen to find yourself in one, in, in need of one, right? What is the outcome here for Gemini? Like somebody may have had a hidden bank account or um, you never needed this relationship to feel complete or supported or to make ends meet in your daily life here. For some of you, the person, or I'm sorry, the um, place you are at. Now, I don't know if you're like living with somebody in that relationship or if it's like your landlord's being weird. or Something about a home. Somebody here is moving. You're going to find love when you move. Wherever you go. Because you already know where you're going. Even if you don't, like your higher self knows, your soul knows, um, your team knows where you're going to end up. Even if you don't physically know right now. Um, your person's there waiting. Actually, energetically, that's part of why you're picking that house. That's the place you want to move. Some of you don't even have an option. <laughs> that's to make sure you make the right one. Some of you have too many options, and now you're a little bit um, nervous. You're a little bit, I don't know. Outcome is the sun and the page of cups. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. 
even better than the Ten of Cups. So technically, we didn't get the Ten of Cups, but we got something better. We let go of the idea that that was the Ten of Cups, and we got something better. Get creative here. You are being, you're, yeah. You can see, and I think it's partially because you have so many ideas. You might be viewing all these options as a blockage, right? Get creative. That's what you have all these options for. Try a couple things out. If they don't work out, nah, it's fine. It's almost like other people want you to try these dating sites and dating online and stuff like that. Let's, you know, get you to go on a blind date. I got a couple of friends I could hook you up with, but you're totally the person that would rather meet people naturally go with that, which is perfect because somebody here is moving and that's how you meet your person. That's very natural. That's like the definition of natural. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this right here. I hope this helps to it needs to how it needs to. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.